Welcome to the Relentless Hope Daily Podcast with Max Bard, where we give hope a spot to shine in the darkness. By listening to the daily version of our podcast, I'm bringing you quick highlights from Relentless Hope with Steve Gatina that will help you love your life, lead with purpose, and leave a legacy of helping others. Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16. Dear Lord, some days I feel so wrapped up in my suffering that I forget you have a grand design for me in this world. Thank you for never turning away for always being with me through my deepest sufferings. Please help me to feel your grace flow through my heart. Help me to feel your strength and power, your compassion and mercy. Help me to heal my brokenness so that I may be your faithful servant. For I willingly lay down my will so that I may do your will here on earth. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. And part of the big uh, awakening that Jeannie and I have, which we pass on, is an awakening to sometimes, not always, but sometimes God calls us to suffering. It's a calling, a calling on our lives. Now, sometimes we bring suffering on on ourselves through the bad decisions. We go against what God says not to do, and we do it, and that causes suffering, and we we learn that, hey, if God says not to do it, it's for a reason. But other times, the suffering that happens in this world just because we live in a broken world and it affects us. Even as followers of Jesus, sometimes God will permit it. He never causes evil, but sometimes he may permit it for his eternal power, plan and purpose. We see that with the story of Joseph, for example, all through the Bible, great suffering from many people, Old and New Testament, and all through history. God, God does it for some reason, uh, for some times, to, so that his grace can come through our brokenness. So it's an, it's an awakening to God's glory, awakening to God's ways. Uh, it's an awakening to his call on our lives. And that's what I'd love to pass on as a legacy, that people will not only see God in a, in a bigger way, but also see that he's called each one of us to a specific work. On this episode of Relentless Hope, Gerard Long explains that legacy is what we'll be remembered for, and that he tries to consider the things that he would like people to see that he's left behind. That includes how he learned to trust in God and his eternal plan after the deaths of two of Gerard's children. Gerard explains how God works things in our lives for a purpose that far outweighs the pain that we're going through. And when we realize this, we realize that this life is just a vapor. We realize that we should be living for God's will and should be doing His work here on earth, which has nothing to do with our earthly wants and desires. As Gerard shares, part of the legacy he hopes to leave behind is that he took his brokenness and suffering, and by God's grace, Gerard is using it to serve God by helping others who are broken who are trapped in suffering like Gerard was. By honoring God's calling for Gerard, he's teaching others around the world how to be comforted by God, to trust in God's eternal plan, and to answer the calling that God has placed in everyone's hearts. God calls us to lay down our wants and desires, sometimes even our actual lives, to do God's will. Sometimes this is hard, explains Gerard, but the great thing about God's grace Whatever he asks us to do, he gives us the grace to do it. Not to grovel through it, but to do it with God's strength, God's power, and God's joy. Gerard wants his own legacy to be a message that God cares about us. He wants to renew our hearts from whatever pain and suffering we're in. He wants to restore us. God wants to cause us to triumph. He wants us to be people that diffuse the fragrance of Jesus. And God can deliver us through our brokenness if we allow him into our hearts. 
As Gerard reminds us, the Bible is filled with stories of great suffering, of many people in the Old and New Testament, and throughout history, who have suffered greatly. We can take comfort and draw strength from the notion that sometimes God will permit suffering. He never causes evil, but sometimes he may permit it for his eternal power, plan, and purpose. And that we have but to awaken to God, trust in his plan for us, allow him to comfort us, and to receive his grace through our brokenness. And with that, I give you today's takeaway of the day from Elizabeth Elliot. God will not protect you from anything that will make you more like Jesus. All right, thank you for listening to Pray.com's Relentless Hope, the daily podcast. I'm your host, Max Bard, and every week I'm committed to giving you quick sound bites from this week's episode of Relentless Hope with Steve Katina. If you liked this episode of Relentless Hope, be an inspiration to those around you by sharing this episode with someone you love. You never know the difference you can make in someone's life by sharing Relentless Hope during a tough time. As we sign off, I want you to remember, give hope a voice.